All right, welcome all. Um, thank you so much for being here today for the Honors Final Showcase. Um, today is a super important day in the semester, uh, but it also really represents a culmination of 32 weeks of work um, within their project, but also us together within the Honors Experience as well as countless hours of working together with their teams, project partners, um, as well as many of the mentors here in the audience, um, doing dozens of interviews, significant pivots, which I'm excited to hear about tonight, um, as well as an unknown and probably want to remain unknown number of Zoom hours, um, and hopefully some fun along the way. Shot long. We are team feed forward. Hi everyone, we are Team KP Digital. Hi everyone, on behalf of all my team members, I invite you all, all to take a seat. A recent study on digital mental health identified this difficulty of locating information as one of the biggest barriers for people searching the web for resources on as well. Our approach was strategizing the increase of user engagement directly on the NMH websites. The two key spaces of opportunity that we identified on the NMH website was difficulty navigating the website and lack of personalization. Our research supported that an overwhelming 93% of users prioritize personalization when making mental health resource purchases, which led to our solution to center it around making the user experience personalized, intuitive, and easy to navigate. From a Qualtrics survey with 82 respondents, we were able to quantify the sentiments of younger adults. And we found that millennials do not feel connected with their care team, but at the same time, they believe that digital health platforms could potentially help resolve this. And so we chose the areas to solve based on the fact that personalization is something that creates a frictionless user experience and increases engagement and is something that Kaiser can accomplish due to their understanding and access to that data. So the problems we've really focused on and uncovered was a lack of personalization, um, lack of efficiency of digital tools, accessibility to services and resources, and younger patients just not feeling or really being engaged in their healthcare. So summarizing these points, we came up with the question, how might we redesign a patient-facing digital health platform to improve health well-being and personalized engagement with the millennial demographic. Mental health itself is a huge topic of concern in the United States. About 58 million people in the U.S. have a diagnosable mental disorder in a given year, but only half of all Americans with serious mental illness seek out treatment. And immigrants as a group are even less likely to seek out treatment due to factors such as stigma, barriers to healthcare access, and fears of deportation. Fundamentally, we want to provide a low entry barrier to accessing digital mental health services. Number two, we want to acknowledge the limitations of existing culturally competent care that may not fit the needs of college-age children of immigrants. And most importantly, we want our community space to provide a sense of agency for and with our participants. So how might we break down the digital barriers to accessing the COVID-19 vaccine in underserved communities? Shotline is a hotline that connects individuals who do not have access or feel comfortable using the internet to uh, tech-savvy volunteers that help secure the appointment on their behalf. Step one, a user in need of a vaccine appointment calls our hotline number and one of our 15 volunteers will answer. Step two, the hotline volunteer will go through a call form with the user to gather information that is essential to booking them a vaccine appointment. Step three, a sleuth volunteer will use the information from the call form to book the user an appointment. Step four, a volunteer will call back the user within four days to provide them with their appointment information and set up transportation if needed.